Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Rachamon Pinyote Pratan from Thailand. Um, today, um, my, talk, my talk is about benefit of the IMA preservation in laparoscopic sigmoidectomy. I have nothing to disclose. An introduction. Correctal cancer is common disease. Location at the root of the inferior mesentery artery is widely accepted during oncologic resection of sigmoid cancer surgery. But the IMA location may compromise the anastomosis by supply and risk injury to the nearby autonomic nerve places. So the pre preservation of the IMA may lead to increased blood flow and decreased post-operative bowel complication. Nevertheless, require longer operative times and technical difficulties. Previous studies have compared the high tie versus low tie of the IMA and show no significantly different in operative results. However, no comparison between the lower ligation and selective sigmoidal artery ligation was performed. So the objective of our study was to compare the result between laparoscopic sigmoidectomy, selective sigmoidal artery ligation, and low ligation of the IMA. A retrospective case match a comparative study was performed Inclusion criteria was the patient with middle sigmoid tumor without enlarged limb nodes. And the exclusion criteria was uh, an emergency operative surgery, the disseminated disease, the adjacent organ invasion, previous pelvic enorectal surgery, previous pelvic radiotherapy, and fecal incontinence and the disease and medication affected bowel function. 27 patients with sigmoidal cancer undergo laparoscopic sigmoidectomy between January, um, January 2012 to December 2015 was uh, included in the study. Nine patients in selective sigmoidal artery ligation group and 18 patients in low ligation the IMA group. We collect the perioperative outcome, the operative time but loss, limb node clearance, and the complication, post-operative enoric function, and the recurrent rates. The follow-up time was six and 12 months after surgery. So about the surgical technique. In both group, we initial access to the abdominal cavity by, uh, through the umbilicus via open technique, and the 10 millimeters, 30 degree camera, and five millimeter for standard working parts were applied and the medial to lateral approach were used. For group A, the selective sigmoidal artery ligation, the dissection of the surrounding limb nodes at the root of the IMA was done along with meticulous dissection to identify the LCA, SRA, and or sigmoidal branches. When we identify the sigmoidal branches, we individually ligate and preserve the LCA and the SRA. And another group, uh, low leg, the group B, low ligation of the IMA, we do the limb node dissection up to the root of the IMA and ligate the IMA distal to the LCA takeoff. Uh, we preserve the LCA. And in both group, we, the dissection was uh, continued laterally along the white line of tor and high ligation of the IMV. We identify and preserve the hypogastric nerve, genital femoral nerve, left ureter, gonadal vessels, and common iliac vessels. Transection of the upper rectum with endostapper and the EEA anastomosis were used by circular stapper, and the air leak test was routinely performed in every case. For the result, in both groups, uh, there are no difference between the baseline characteristics of the patient. The age, gender, BMI, pre of staging, and the ASA is equal in both groups. And for the operative result, we found that no conversion rate, no diverting stoma, no recurrence in both groups. And there are no significant difference between the post-operative stage the limb node clearance, the operative time, the, the blood loss, and the hospital stay. But we found that in the low location of the IMA group, four patients have post-operative bowel dysfunction, one with constipation and three with diarrhea. So the discussion, 
the short-term outcome of selective ligation of the sigmoid artery with in this study on the comp com complication overall survival, disease free survival, were comparable to the low ligation of the IMA, while the selective sigmoid artery ligation was anatomically less invasive. There was a trend toward over lower post-operative bowel dysfunction, dysfunction in the selective artery ligation group. However, it was not statistical, statistically significant. We suggest that selective artery ligation might contribute in lowering rate of anterior resection syndrome. However, further RCT study may be needed. So both, both procedures achieved adequate limb node clearance, and there was no anastomotic leakage found, and good blood supply was observed in both groups. And furthermore, similar result in operative time and similar blood loss, suggesting the feasibility of selective sigmoid artery ligation. So ladies and gentlemen, I will conclusion of my paper is uh, laparoscopic sigmoidectomy with selective sigmoid artery ligation allows equivalent short-term oncologic result to the low ligation IMA technique. Thank you.